Chinese authorities published their latest figures amid the coronavirus outbreak, again arousing confusion. Reports of 349 new confirmed cases in Hubei province on Wednesday, including 615 in the provincial capital of Wuhan. Netizens wondered why Wuhan has more cases than all of Hubei, since Wuhan is the capital of Hubei province and that number should be included and not separate. Later, Chinese state-controlled media People's Daily explained how this figure came about, saying it was because the authorities revised the diagnosis criteria for confirmed cases again and some figures needed to be cut after examination. So now suddenly people who were categorized as infected the day before suddenly weren't classified that way anymore. But netizens are wondering what happened to those people? Do they still carry the virus or did they all suddenly become cured? The situation in Wuhan has been out of control for weeks. On Thursday, Chinese authorities finally admitted this is an unprecedented challenge. A spokesperson from the Central Committee of the Communist Party of China held a press conference saying the, quote, sudden arrival of the novel coronavirus epidemic is an abnormal battle for China since the regime's beginning. He added the ferociousness of the virus, the quick spread of the epidemic, how far it has spread, and the huge challenge of facing it are all unprecedented. Wuhan, the epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak, has been put on lockdown for about one month. No transportation, including cars, trains, planes or ferries, are allowed to leave, except for special reasons, such as transportation of medication or other necessities for living. But many people still manage to leave this city. According to internal documents acquired by the Chinese edition of the Epic Times, the roaming data from mobile phones show from February 1st to the 15th, about 140,000 people left Wuhan. More than two-thirds left Hubei province, while others remained. People are escaping from the epicenter to survive, but at the same time, they may bring the virus to other places. And an exclusive interview from the Chinese NTD. Mr. Liao, a farmer in the Hubei province, told our reporter people are locked down at home with no income and no aid. People in the countryside plant vegetables themselves and can survive for a while. But people in the cities are miserable. Even healthy people could starve at home. In the same city as Mr. Liao, a policeman's wife boasted that her husband got four boxes of fruit, a couple boxes of eggs, milk and lots of vegetables from the police station. So much, in fact, that they could not consume it all. A netizen wrote, quote, even if people can't buy it anywhere, they can expropriate it from others' homes in the name of the government.